All this came to light after one mother gave her nonverbal child a voice the only way she knew how. She says she sewed a recording device into the child's clothing and sent him to school a couple of times over the last school year. Good morning. Good morning. This is one of the recordings mother Kathleen Canino says she took of her child's special education class at Covington Elementary last year. Her lawsuit against the school alleges the main voice you hear is teacher Tammy Cole in a class of children with severe developmental disabilities. Most, if not all, are nonverbal. Canino's lawsuit is against Cole, her three aides, the school's principal, and the district. And Canino is not the only one. After learning of the abuse allegations and Canino's recordings, five other parents filed lawsuits. One claiming the teacher and her assistants, quote, fostered a nightmarish classroom culture where verbal and physical abuse of disabled students was allowed and even encouraged. These pictures show bite marks and bruises a young boy received. And another of the suits claims the teacher and or the aides encouraged another boy to rub his genitals. All three mention the recordings that Canino captured. Away inside a classroom, parents say, had windows covered by brown paper to keep prying eyes out. The suit also says at one point, recordings reveal someone in the classroom says she would like to physically injure a child. While the district would not comment citing the litigation, their attorney denied the allegations in court documents saying there wasn't sufficient proof. The teacher and the aides no longer work at Covington Elementary, but district spokeswoman Meredith Mendez would not say if they left voluntarily or if they were fired. The lawsuit says the special education classroom has been moved to another St. Tammany Parish school. I just want to sleep forever. In all, the parents of seven Covington Elementary students have filed lawsuits so far. One of them joined on just today. In fact, Mary Wright's lawyer says every time she reported the abuse to the school, she was reported to the Department of Children and Family Services and investigated for child abuse. All of those investigations were not sustained, according to her attorney. Back to you.